What's going on everybody on Facebook, YouTube, uh, maybe even Twitter and Instagram. Today I'm going to do the quickest tutorial that I can possible. I'm going to show you guys how to get high definition videos onto uh, your Instagram so you can advertise whatever it is, your business, your photography, your videos, whatever it is you want to do. I'm going to show you guys how to get your videos from, Inst or from Adobe into uh, um, into Instagram for, and, and to get it on your phone and then upload it so let's do this as quick as I can I'm gonna explain everything um, and then kinda just go through it so right here I have my sequence 00139 is what it's called for some reason um, it's a music video kinda give you an idea of what it looks like cool colors Instagram stuff at the end whatever it's just over three and a half minutes long uh, so what I wanna do is Instagram only allows a minute now uh, or I shouldn't say only allows a minute, it used to only allow 15 seconds and now it's up to a minute, which is dope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 00139 sequence and I'm going to pull it into another sequence and it's just going to be one video and one audio track. I'm going to slice it up and uh, I'm going to fade it in and out and then I'm going to export it, upload it, save it to my phone and then we're going to put it on Instagram. So let's do it. So. I already have a sequence made. Sequence uh, is it? Yeah, it must be sequence two. So I have it. Me, I have it already pre-made for you guys. So as you can see, it fades in, plays all the way through. I only wanted it for about 20 seconds, and then it fades out. Um, it just makes everything look a little bit more professional. So what I did is I'm going to show you how I did did that. Uh, it's really simple. Go in here, find the sequence that you want to use. Um, I'm going to use sequence 01 for the reason that it is the exact same as 00139 except for that I added some extra clips and the sequence 01 is actually the final thing. So I'm going to drag that in there um, and I want just the first uh, 23 seconds, sure, whatever. So uh, hotkeys, I press C, brings up my razor tool, I make a cut, I press V to go back to my normal cursor here and I press delete. Perfect. So. Um, I'm going to show you guys uh, as quick as I can. I'm adding keyframes here. Um, basically what that is doing is it's telling it to fade in and fade out. You want that with your audio and video. It just makes things look a little bit cleaner, a little bit more crisp, and a little bit more professional in the end. So I'm adding keyframes here by holding command and clicking on the line. So that line is showing op opacity. Is that you know, how you want to say it? Or opacity? What do you want to call it? Um, and that's just showing me starting it off at zero and going all the way to 100. So now if you look, I press space bars, and probably not gonna play because it's not rendered, but you can see that it fades in and it is a little bit laggy, but you get the idea and also it fades out. Perfect. So now we are ready to put this on Instagram. One thing you wanna make sure, um, I always like to give just a couple keyframes after the video is done and press O, that's your out. So everything from whatever's in between um, those two markers there is what's going to export. So I have it out and it automatically is going to the start as you can see. So I'm going to export this. So I go Command M. That's going to bring up my export settings. Um, I have a setting here that's already Instagram 24p. Um, I shot this actually at uh, 60 progressive most of this video and then I always export down to 24 even if it's not for Instagram, just in general. So I'm going to go to my Instagram uh, 24p. Perfect. So one thing you're going to notice right off the start, you go down to your video width and height. Remember these numbers, 640 by 640. That is the Instagram size, even if you're trying to do a photo in Photoshop or uh, you want something to fit. 640 by 640 is the perfect resolution and that is kind of the secret to um, the whole exporting is that this will look really nice. It'll look normal and it'll just it'll be the size of Instagram right so um, so I go down and I'm, I don't mess with the settings too much render at maximum bit de uh, depth uh, I used to say bit depth I think or maybe not um, I have my target bit rate at 10 my maximum bit rate at 12 um, I leave all that and my estimated file size is 29 megabytes megabytes so um, if you go anywhere up to a minute your your video could potentially be anywhere from 75 megabytes on uh, depending on how big your files are so I'll click here, output name, sequence 03, sure it's a test. I'm going to put it on my desktop and we go export. So as soon as this is done exporting, I will show you guys the next step to getting it onto your phone and then from your phone to Instagram. So catch you guys in a second here. Alright, so we've exported it from Adobe. Um, it's on my desktop. I've copied and pasted it now um, to my Dropbox folder. So it's very important that you guys have a Dropbox folder. Uh, folder? Folder. 
um, you need to have that and you need to have an account um, make sure you have Dropbox downloaded to your phone as well onto your computer so you copy it from uh, you copy it from your computer and then it'll automatically transfer to your Dropbox on your phone so now what I'm gonna do is I have the app and I'm already signed in so I'm gonna go like this um, I don't know if you guys can see that here I better just take a look I'm hoping you guys can see that so um, so basically uh, what you can see here is that the insta clip is right here so I'm gonna click it um, then what's gonna happen is uh, I'm gonna go up to these three dots here and I'm gonna go export um, sometimes you get the option of Instagram or you used to and I don't know what happened to that so I'm just gonna go save video save video like that um, depending on how big it is that's how long it's gonna take but um, essentially um, this is going to load to my camera roll on my phone iPhone or Android whatever you have it doesn't matter so we're gonna wait for that and then we will keep going the last final steps and another thing I guess I thought I'd uh, mention to you guys while this is loading um, keep in mind now this has just been a new thing recently with Instagram as of like for all I know a couple days because I use all kinds of music for my stuff um, and Instagram's never really had any rules but now um, if you post something that has a song that's registered I'm I'm assuming I don't know for sure which exact platforms but if it's with iTunes Spotify or something like title um, expect for it to get stripped so what will happen is it'll just show a notification saying your video has been removed because you don't have permission to use this song so be aware of that when you guys are uh, videographers be aware of that when you're gonna be editing and giving this back to your clients if they're expecting to advertise on Instagram you need to check that first because if the, if all of a sudden the song doesn't work then it's kinda like like what do you do right so make sure you guys have that problem solved check into it YouTube has a big library of free music you can use for any kind of your videos um, there's places like audio blocks and so just make sure of that because the last thing you want is your client to be unhappy knowing they can't post on Instagram because of stupid copyright laws and then and when they're not even making money off the actual video in the first place okay so make sure you guys check that out check your music and I think this should be done now. So it says saving videos is saved to photos, as you can see. As you can see. So I'm gonna go to Instagram here. Um, now this is exactly what you do. You go to your Instagram, um, and I have uh, it in my camera roll here. So I'm just gonna go next. So now, so now I have that actually playing at full speed. Uh, it's a music video I did, and that's playing um, crystal clear on my Instagram. So. Um, you can go here. I'm um, from here. You obviously know how. To, if you don't know, you can actually pick your thumbnail. If you go uh, filter, trim, and cover, you can actually go to your cover here and pick what you want to kind of like has this. So I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna go through here. I like. Um, I want something with kind of like both of them in it, maybe, or maybe the guy that's the main video. So I don't mind. Uh, sure, something like that. Whatever. So when you go next. And then from there, you write your caption, uh, you put your tags, and you have a video. You can even say you can actually upload it to Facebook, but just know the quality won't be the same as this, as if you were to export your video at regular resolution uh, because you're doing 640 by 640. So remember, when you put that on Facebook, it's going to still show up, but it won't be the same size as you would see it if you were to actually re-upload it. So remember that. Um, Twitter, it seems to be fine for, but uh, just keep that in mind. And remember, you can go up to about a minute. Have fun, and that's all I have for tutorials today. I will be back with more in the future. It's your boy Dilly Bat from Dilly Bat Productions. We do photo, video, and audio, you bitch.